Happy Friday, guys. Hey, listen, it's been a great week. We had a great class yesterday with Zoom, and we're going to have a great class today reviewing everything that we've been doing all week long. Of course, we want to appreciate Professor Jaster, Zach, and Tori being able to come in and showing you those really nice variations on the Mataleon and, of course, on the Juju Katami, the arm lock, and how to be able to defend that and break free from the defense. That was a really cool thing. We appreciate you guys. It was awesome. Everybody's enjoyed working it. And I've enjoyed working with... Uh, yeah, George. George's my brother-in-law. He's much bigger than me. He's got big muscles. And I was always a, like, I had to be, deal with him all the time growing up. So I'm going to call him George and I get to pick on him. But don't tell George, please. All right. Hey, and George and I have been having a great week. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed working with him. I know Ava and Emma, you guys said you guys had fun with the pillow because it was a really cool thing to be able to build that. As a matter of fact, everybody that I've talked to has said that. All right. And so that's a really cool thing. I know, Andrew, you said you've been working with the pillow, mom and dad. And that is really cool too. And I appreciate all of our parents being able to work with the kids this week. All right, Mr. Noriega, Mr. Bourne, Mr. Perez, all you guys being able to let your kids choke you and arm bar you. And that's really important because they get to, of course, do that in class all the time with somebody their size, but they don't get to do that with bigger people too, too much. And so that helps to build their confidence. And so you're helping them, all right? And so of course, all of our teen adults have been working this as well. The pillow is a Great way to be able to build a grappling dummy if you don't have one. If you can get a grappling dummy, that's awesome too. The cool thing about this, take it apart, put the pillows back on your bed, you don't have a grappling dummy sitting in your corner to scare you every night when you see them. <laughs> and so uh, we had some great questions in the interaction yesterday. Holly, great questions about the choke. And uh, Preston, great questions. Sharing, Joshua, Evan, all those guys. Great interaction. I have about 30 of you guys on Zoom. We had our birthday party spinners. Happy birthday, Kip. Happy birthday, Gal. Hopefully, you guys had a great day yesterday. Happy birthday, Levi. You had a, hopefully, you had a great birthday on Tuesday. I know you had a big party all day long. That was really cool. And good to see you in our Zoom class, too, man. All of our Anochi uh, Warriors, our little guys, all right? Selma, it was great seeing you yesterday. All right? Um, Levi, Ethan, Owen, Giovanna, Andrew, all you guys that are coming up and that are young. This is kind of tough for you guys, but keep working hard, all right? If you have to take a break, take a break, all right? That's the great thing about these videos. You can press pause, but think about like you're at the academy because Mr. Haven wouldn't just let you just stop in the middle. Even our adults want to take a break. Sometimes they're like, oh, I can't do this. But remember, this is your worst enemy because the mind's always going to say, hey, you got to be afraid of that. Hey, that's too hard. Hey, that's too scary. Hey, you're not good enough for that. Hey, blah, blah, blah. We need to take that and just erase that, all right? And understand that our bodies are capable of doing a lot of things, all right? So you get out there, make sure you work hard, challenge yourself. If you have to take a break, of course take a break, all right? Uh, if something's a little bit too difficult to, then, then difficult for you, then of course try to modify it, all right? And like we said, don't put that pressure on yourself. If you feel like Mr. Hayden's saying one, two, three, four, and it's like too much as far as like keeping with the one, two, three, four, just do three if we do 10. It is not a big deal. Do the best you can, have fun with this, enjoy it. Go back, watch the videos again, try to refine the technique, make it better, and just continue to work hard. Challenge yourself, but have fun, all right? There'll be a portion of time in the class that will tell you, hey, guys, our little note your worries. You guys can stop now. You guys don't have to do the rest of this technique. Unless you want to, you can challenge yourself and do it. I know some of you students have been letting me know that you've been putting in some extra work beyond what we've instructed you to do. And that is awesome. Ava and Emma, I appreciate the fact that you're putting in that extra work and extra time. Keep it up, guys, all right? All right, well, without any further ado, we're gonna get started. First drill, we're gonna be doing our hip escape. Remember, I pick my hips up, I get on my shoulder, pick my heels up so I can turn my body and I move, push my hips away, and then I bring my knee in, and then I bring it back. Then I'm gonna to go to the other side, hips up, get on my shoulder, pick my heels up, Make sure I pivot my heels away the way I want my hips to go. Push, bring my knee in, and then we go back to the other side. All right, we're going to make that a little fast. Go at your own speed, even if I'm counting. One, two, three, boom, dois, tres. Whatever count that I do, whether it's in Portuguese, English, or it's Japanese, all right, you just, that just kind of helps you to kind of put a demand on the fact that you want to try to meet that rhythm but it's not totally necessary. You just do the best you can, all right? Always remember that you wanna go as fast as you can go, all right? Not as fast as I can go, or your friend can go, if your mom and dad are doing this with you. Always, we encourage your parents to be able to start training with your kids, get this video, clear out the living room. I saw you guys, man. Evan, uh, Mr. Noriega, Mr. 
Born, Mr. Jess, all you guys working with your kids, man, that was so awesome. That was making me happy, okay? But you guys can do this together, but you don't have to go as fast as each other go. You guys encourage each other, make this happen, all right? So here we go. We're going to go one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Bring it again. Three, four, hands up, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Good. Keep those hands center line. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Awesome job, guys. Here we go. Now bridge and roll. Same thing. We're gonna bridge our hips way up in the air, but we're not rolling actually. I just want to roll up on my shoulder and then I want to touch. So we go one, two. Three, keep those hips up. Four, five, reach. Six, seven, eight, keep that elbow tucked in. And ten. One, two, three, four. And I know you guys are counting with me. Six on the tens. Seven, don't get out of practice. Nine and, let's try right, twenty-one. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And we're gonna be doing our technical stand up, okay? Remember, my foot is on the mat here. The foot that's on the mat is the hand that is up, okay? And then the other leg is stretched out, and that hand is on the mat. Because right here, I just want to raise myself up in the air so this way, this leg is free. I can move, I can kick, so on and so forth. But I'm gonna take this leg here push it out a little bit and then swing it up behind me while I'm still looking up and then I stand up. Technical stand. We're gonna do one side then the other. We're just gonna do 20 of these, okay? And I want you to make sure that you draw as fast as you can. If in fact you can't get all 20 done, it is not a problem. You're just starting out, especially the little dragons, you know, the, the, the little guys. Don't worry about it. Don't be like, oh, I gotta get 20 of them in. I can't just go forward and do it. No, just do as many as you can in the time that Mr. Haven does is 20, all right? Here we go, ready? We're gonna go down. And one. Two. Three. Go the right side down now. Four. Keep your posture up. Five. Good job. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You guys getting them done? Nice. Ten more. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Awesome job. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is gonna do a little bit of a break falls. We're gonna do a back break fall, and we're gonna do a side break fall. All right. So, in one. Two, three, four, and five. Good job. All right, nice. Now we're going to do our side break falls. Real simple, okay? Same deal. I'm going to sit down, but this leg is going to go in front. So I bend the knee and my leg goes in front. The leg that goes in front is the hand that I slapped the mat with. So get rid of this hand so it's not a problem. I grab my belt so I know that this hand's not in the equation. Not for practicing the break fall, okay? So I'm gonna squat down, my leg comes across, and just down on my side. Side break fall. Make sure my knee's up, the toes are on the mat, this foot's up in the air, my leg, my arm just slapped out here, 
You notice I'm not making a big old, like, boom. There's a time for that, but we're not doing that right now, okay? Kind of really controlling the body. From here now, I let go of my belt, use this leg to sit up. What does this look like now? Looks like a technical stand up, which is exactly what it is. Ready? One. Two. Three. And four. Good job. Nice. All right, so that was our break falls. Now, we're going to do our overhead roll and back roll. Real easy. We just did that on Monday. Remember again, don't roll on your head. Don't roll on your shoulder. We roll over those objects to get them out of the way. It means we got to really tuck our chin. Make sure when we roll that it's a nice controlled motion, not fast. If you're uncomfortable with these, do not do them. Not at home, all right? My upper belt, you should be able to do this again, no problem. But if you're just starting out, you're not familiar with this stuff, don't even worry about this section. Just press the pause button, go get a drink of water, come back, and then we'll practice these when we get back on the mat, all right? <laughs> if you can do it, of course, then do it, all right? But we're not rolling on the head, remember. All right, we go straight over, and go back. And then up. Ready? Two. Three. Last one. And four. Good job. All right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a shoulder roll. Again, we're not standing up. I'm just going to pick up my knee, whatever knee's up. That hand goes on the mat, the other one. All right? This is the hand of the one that's up. Goes through, roll over my shoulder, and I come over just like I'm rolling in a ball. All right? Now I do a back shoulder roll, all right? Just to show off. <laughs> we're not gonna go back. We're gonna turn and go the other way, all right? So here, we're gonna go over. Then I turn and I lift my other knee up. So now it's my left knee up, my right hand goes on the mat, and my left hand goes through, and I just roll straight over. Turn and roll. Up and roll. Two more. And turn and go. Nice work. We've got two more. The first one is just a shot, okay? I change my level, take that big step. It's called a penetration step. I'm really far down. This front knee goes all the way down to the mat as I reach, pull, grab, and then I stand. All right? Now we're going to go to the other side. Down and up. The other side, switch, down, and up. The other side, down, and up. The other side, down, and up. Look, the other side, down, and up. The other side, down, and up. Good job, all right? Now, last thing we're gonna do, sprawl, all right? Remember, we talked about seven fundamental things that you should be practicing all the time for your jiu-jitsu. Ready, and one. Two, three, and four. That's it. Good job. All my little guys, you guys can go ahead and take a break. Uh, if you want to come back and do the first portion of the second video, all right? This is our uh, drill portion where we warm up and we do our fundamental drills and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing a drill in the second video, all right, which is our skills portion. So Selma, you can come back and try the drill, all right, because it is a good way to be able to work, to be able to learn how to be able to do the fundamentals of the armbar. You don't necessarily need to go through all the technique, but at least the first portion. We'll see you guys in a moment.